Okay, just leave that there. I will heal up. Okay, almost a hooktail. And technically, I can go to the pit of a hundred trials right now if I wanted to. Oh, I don't have the key. It's what happens when you tunnel vision a game that you've played millions of times, you kind of forget the smaller details. Although I'm curious of something here. There's a pipe up there. What? What's that for? I don't see a way to be able to get up there. No hidden block. <sighs> right, that's gonna bother me. Ugh. Maybe it's a shortcut? Back to here, maybe? I don't know. Wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hang on, I think I might know what it's for. I knew it! They put a shortcut here for getting back up. Okay, that's actually very convenient, thank you. That saved you backtracking through a couple rooms. Yeah, I was like, no, I was like, wait, what is that ledge? And yeah. Alright, whatever. Alright, I should get Goombella out. Nope. Yep, this still basically looks the same. Ooh, the clouds are getting darker. There's that ambient drone. I don't know if I'm going to be able to avoid this guy. <laughs> get outclassed. Outplayed. Whatever. I will save, just in case that they mix something up with Hooktail, but I doubt it. Yeah, and I've seen this in previews as well. Made it hurt a lot more sinister looking. She has her own little uh, pre-boss theme. Alright, let's do this. Cuddle you up. Okay, so it's actually good to start off with a jump, because each jump lowers her attack by one. Instead of a hammer, because, yeah, I did not know that, that she'll actually lose defense on the turn that you attack her on. Oof. Yeah, now her attack power is super low. Can I at least get one bingo? Damn it. 
Uh, oh well. Goombell and Coops basically do the same damage. Okay, good. I'm gonna have to learn how to super guard that though later. For Bone Tail. Actually, Coops has that one defense that might help. Damn! I tried the super guard. Uh, oh, I do have power smash. Uh, fuck it, better not fall on my partner again like last time. Hey, there we go. I mean, that's useful for health, but my FP's still out. Damn, timing on that's kind of different. I actually think I will use special more just to increase my FP. Alright, is this any different or is it still the same? No, it's still pretty much the same. It seems like there's less poison shrooms though. Yeah, it seems about to be the same. Oh yeah, it's also using that HP or health restoration sound effects from Sticker Star and Beyond, not the originals, which kind of sucks. I kind of like the Thousand Year Door HP ups sounds. FP also uses the HP up sound too, instead of its own. Damn, I cannot get that guard. Uh, okay, actually that's not necessary. Oh, well, it doesn't matter if I messed that up or not. Nope. Nope. Huh, I think that's slightly different. What she said there. How's this look? <laughs> oh, look at Coop's angry pose. I failed that. Yeah, it wasn't a power bounce cap, I just failed. Alright, I don't I can't get star points anymore. I'm just gonna guard that for now. I am gonna have to learn all the super guards over again. God, if I ever play the original again, it's gonna fuck with my muscle memory. Damn it! Okay, maybe I shouldn't do that anymore. There we go. Okay, that still seems to be about the same timing. Yeah, flash! And coins! Yeah, I guess bosses and stuff give coins now. That's nice. Although, one thing I'm wondering... <laughs> how are they gonna handle the Shadow Queen at the end of the game? Are we still gonna get that pity one star point, or... God, I can't wait. <laughs>
Question, how the hell did he survive in there so long? That's different. He said he played a nasty trick on him. Huh. Oh, you didn't. He also didn't say we thought your game was over too. Yeah, they keep changing the script for seemingly at random. I know I'm kind of getting harping on about that, but it's just so different. Also, the crystal stars are different looking too. I just noticed. Look more like shiny paper <laughs> instead of actual crystals. Hooray! Who's writing this note, by the way? <laughs> oh, they just said who thought it was dead. They actually just said dead in the game script. That's interesting. They usually try to try to avoid that. All right, peach time. Ah, no, it definitely looks like we're looking through a monitor. Instead of how it was in the original. Huh, so that happens instead of a static electricity. You know, I always thought that white was like Grotus's beard or something, not just part of his outfit. I know it doesn't make much sense, but that's what I thought when I was a kid. Then same thing with Crump. Rodus didn't do that pose in the original. Three shadows. Yeah, they're not called the Shadow Sirens anymore. Yeah, due to how they changed Vivian as well. I'm still going to call them the Shadow Sirens anyways. It's a cooler name instead of just the Shrew Three Shadows. Yeah, Shadow Sirens is a way cooler evil sounding name, team, whatever. Same like the three shadows, like how they call call Wally Wogs, Wally Hops, and Pikmin Four. Yeah, no, screw that. I'm calling. I'm still gonna call them Wally Wogs. That's just what my brain's been programmed to do. After all these years.
Oh, they didn't show the different monitors, locations of the Exynon Fortress. Just go straight to Peach. Oh, I was going to reuse one of my gags that I did for my original playthrough. Oh, well. Alright, this has been killing me for a while. Did they change this for the shower room? Yep, she still does it. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to assume they didn't change the invisible segment later. Hopefully. Alright, oh, now she has a backdrop, you can see her ponytail easier. It'd be nice if she kept that, though, through the rest of this segment, but oh well. I'm gonna wander around. You can open these? Can you do that in the original? You could... What the hell? I did... Could you check any of this stuff in the original? I don't think you can. Also, why is the door not opening? What's going on here? Do I have to check everything first? Huh. Interesting. Wondering what the hell is going on. Alright, and here's another change that they kept from the Japanese version. Tech is red now. Instead of blue, like he was in the English release. He was read in the Japanese original, obviously, for Hal. So I guess they decided to just keep the reference anyway, so that's nice. Tell if that dialogue was different or not. Also, I should, yeah, no, says you can't skip through dialogue in this, which is a little annoying. That's going to make certain parts more annoying later. Weird that tech gets so obsessive over this entire thing. I wonder if he never did or not. Peach was just been trapped here without any assistance with talking with Mario over an email. Oh, she said something. She didn't say, like, you kidnapped me by common Koopas.
<laughs> wireless email. It's funny because this game was made originally in 2004. When the internet was still somewhat of a new thing for public people. That's another thing, I hope they <laughs> did something with dialogue later in Chapter 4, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Alright, Bowser time. Nice to see all the original enemy designs again after a new sticker star ruined everything. And Bowser still has his old voice from the original game as well. Now this... Bowser has a little back sprite too. <laughs> Burn! Oh, that's oh, that's different. He usually called him Tubby. Hmm. It doesn't play the item sound effect. <laughs> I can hit him from here. Oh, the trigger for that is a lot further closer to the wall. Interesting. Oh, Cammy, it's so nice to see you again. After being mysteriously absent ever since Super Paper Mario. She has the Magikoopa voice as well for her little audio bits. Say no. Lunkhead, yeah, that's different. He called her airhead in the original. Who is giving Bowser this information anyway? It's just some random Goomba on Rogueport? Oh, a little point! <laughs> he just goes, objection. Oh, 
I just straight up plowed through those spiky balls. Alright. Oh hey, Mario still does the little blink too. In the transition. Oh, look at his little sad pose. Oh, everyone's cute little poses. I can't help I can't help but point them out. I love them so much. It just brings so much more character to these to these characters. Adds a lot more personality to them. Before I quit, let's grab this. I will promise I won't abuse this as much as I did originally. I think I'll only let it have one partner at a time, and otherwise I have to manually get them to 1 HP. Because otherwise it'll just steamroll the entire game with it. Alright, you. I think you say something different now. <laughs> hmm, kid, you're about a bit uh, behind the times there. Loser. Alright, well, anyways. I think that'll be it for now, so next time we'll continue on with Chapter 2. After we return to the Thousand Year Door. Alright, well, see you guys next time then.